What's up everybody? Welcome back to Build Tune Race. It's actually field trip day and we're heading down to Trevi's Customs to get these new tires mounted up and the front wheels for the front of the car. And I didn't just trust anybody to mess with these things. So uh, we're gonna go down, see what he's up to and see if he'll help us put these on. Welcome to the land of project cars here at Motion Auto TV. Trevi, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, working on some trucks or what? Mustangs? Oh, shoot. Just, just doing fixing it all, huh? Oh, man, oh. I'm just selling oh. this. Potentially might be the new daily, and I'm just. Ooh. He's almost, ready. almost? With new engine and all, or no? Yeah, new engine. Oh, yeah, we swapped shoot. The, engine. the whole shop was a. It looked like a bomb went off yesterday, <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. I just there's like this O-ring, okay? So this O-ring, we took everything apart. And there's an O-ring on the ground, and we're like sitting there scratching our head. We're like, what the hell is that? And then that was on that truck. We're like, where'd that O-ring go? Same thing happened to this. We put it back together, and I'm just like. I guess that O-ring was Don't need that important. one, huh? I go to drive it and the freaking brakes are just like. Oh, like, neat. So it's an O-ring that goes around the master, mm -hmm. like the brake cylinder to seal it to the thing. So Needed that. It was, so I'm putting that back in right now. Nice. Yeah, I, I was wondering what it was. <laughs> Jacked his new uh, 70 here, or I guess it's a 110. It looks like a 70, but I don't know Honda makes 110s. Let's see how this thing, let's see how it rips. Yep, well, one-handed though. Third gear, and... Oh, yep, oh. So now you got brakes. You got brakes now. Oh, right? boy. That O-ring changes things. Life-changing experience. It also had a check engine light on because of that. No problem. What do you think your first experience in a... Have you been in a 6.7 power truck before? Yours. Your white one. Where did we, oh, yeah. Oh, we went yeah. To, we went thing, yeah. Yeah, we went to the bill and hung out for a minute. But, uh, yeah, no, nice. I've been looking at new diesels to tow around the country. I don't know if I really want one. I've been looking at aluminum trailers to tow my, like, use the gasser. Aluminum trailer is about what an enclosed with a car in it would weigh with two cars on an aluminum open. I don't know. Can't decide. Trevi's over here, got all the diesels in his life. But I have a couple diesels. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, what a... Yep. Don't want to get monetized there. Yeah, you, you definitely... Probably not even using it. What are we doing? Look, so, now you got a new daily. Honestly, I would recommend a 6-7 power truck. Big you Ford guy. Like I've been looking at them. So since I have my other truck for sale, the reason I'm building this one is because I like thought I was gonna sell my other truck, take that money, put it in the bank, pay off some things, buy some other stuff, invest in some things. Cause I have, I have options, which this is a decent option. Yeah, not uh, bad. So you needed an engine. It uh, basically locked up a bunch of bearing material in the pan, but it still ran. Had a 70,000 mile parts truck. Little I sketch. Decided to. Uh, oh, look at those brakes though. I'm gonna let this guy go ahead right here. This guy is going ahead. So, anyhow, what a unit. Well, uh, Whoa. yeah, we could have, we could have probably squeaked together on <laughs> that, but. Thin bridge. Yeah. Yeah, now we got 6.7 power stroke. I would recommend one. They're a. Big 6.7 guy. Big 6.7 guy. I mean, they just run good. They, they work good. They're smooth. They just buy this one from you and you're done with I it. I mean, honestly, like, I'll, I'll have it dialed in here soon, so. <laughs> Ready, ready for sale. You, instead of spending eighty thousand dollars on a truck, spend around twenty something. No. Yep. Low twenties. Low twenties. Low twenties. We gotta. I gotta work Trevor and Dale. You gotta. He starts high. You gotta work him down. You gotta give him time. Well, I mean, low twenties. That's. that's already, <laughs> I already worked myself down. See, because of all the prices, like I've really had to. Check it's been myself. interesting. I've yeah. had to check myself in a lot of instances, like because I kind of, I was used to the cheap prices. And then I was like, you know, I used to be like, oh yeah, you know, maybe I can sell this thing for, you know, like 18, 17, whatever. You know, and all the prices, it was like, no, I can probably sell it to for like 26. <laughs> and then now it's like, well, yeah. we're kind of in between now. It's a weird time. Used car market's a crazy. Well, oh, diesels weird. are actually the only thing that's selling right now, so. Good thing you got a bunch of them. We're actually going to go uh, park down by the river real quick. We're going to take a couple pictures. We're going to list yeah. this thing on the marketplace. Oh, see? Whatever one sells first. This is the one. Oh, see. And then I'll keep the other one. So then you can justify. Yeah, I get it. That, that works. Or I'll just have a. I'll list everything I have for sale, and then whatever sells, I'll just drive the other thing. I think you listed everything and nothing sold, so you're doing great. And that's why that. That's why. <laughs> the one thing that I thought was actually gonna oh. sell was my truck, and it almost did. 
And that was the whole reason behind even focusing on this. Now and then got now, two trucks. now I got two. <laughs> I mean, I'd prefer we don't scratch them if we could, well, but. So this just, it goes in here. I could throw a little tape on there. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, let's, we'll put, let's a, put some tape on there. So I got the new RC comps, the fronts right here. And then some Mickey, Mickey front tires. They actually have two different kinds, but I know a lot of Dragon guy, Drive guys have ran these, so I'm gonna run these. And the other ones were out of stock, so. Trevi's got this nice little tire machine right here. He's gonna help me get these mounted, but no balancer, right? So I'll have to get, get a balance. Well, I mean, technically kind of? there's a balancer, but don't worry. Oh yeah, no, that's all right. take them to somebody, somewhere. Somebody, but at least we don't have to worry about them screwing them up, huh? I mean, they could screw them up balance. Balance, yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, those wheels cost more than my Civic. Really? One of them. Yeah, they're not. They're not cheap, but hey, uh, everything else is ridiculously expensive on this car, so why not the wheels too? It's be easy, easy now. Easy, easy now. Oh, Atlanta, hey, that looks all right. It's not bad. Eh? Not bad. Looks great. That sun. At least you know what we could do is we could. Oh, just, looks really good. We could just do the pins on. Oh. Nice. Pin it out. Get a nice little mark, a little divot in there. Yeah. We good to go. We'll be great. Ready to do it. All right, let's see if we can throw one of these things on there now, huh? You didn't come do a dragon drive with me with this thing or what? I mean, that'd be great. Trevi built this in like, what, a month? Two weeks. Two weeks he built this thing, and you almost, you kind of made it, I guess. You showed up. Car was not dialed. It needs, it needs a different transmission for sure in this thing, well, and then maybe. he'll be happy. I think the rear is weird, and it has like a, I think it's like a weird, like, 230 rear gear. Real rough, yeah. Real, real tall, like, it wasn't happening. It also needs a trans brake and a two-step and all the things. Well, that, that actually works. It has two step well yeah but it's super delayed it's got like the poor man two step with what you hold it like between gears the sloppy two step yeah, yeah. you got this the sloppy trans brake so it <laughs> sloppy goes sloppy trans brake oh no, it's it locks itself in third gear and then <laughs> and then it drops it to first it but that. not very fast not very fast yeah trevi's tire shop how are we doing Turn around and Trevi's already got the tire on. Oh, that's great. Throw a little air on it. Then I can get the car down at ride height. It's been like two years since the car's been down on all, all wheels and tires. Well, kind of. I guess two weeks ago I had the old fronts on there and sat it down. But this at least. Now I can see what the car's going to look like with all the wheels and tires. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll try at least. Oh, yeah. Ended up hanging out with, ended up hanging out with Trevor for a little bit while, talking about YouTube and business and all the things. But we're back at the shop, got the wheels mounted up. Huge shout out to him. Thanks again, Trevor, for helping us out. If you guys haven't seen his YouTube channel, it's Motion Auto TV. So we're actually working on lowering the suspension a little bit because we know it's going to need to go down some. Alex is over here working on loosening up this side now. And uh, as long as you don't push the car off the lift. Woo -wee. Got it. I think so. so he's gonna go ahead and lower that down. I'm gonna actually get this wheel on here. So you can see this thing looks like. We're actually gonna try to lower the whole car down, get it at ride height measure for a drive shaft so we can get that thing made but uh, really want it down at right height so we can verify it truly is at the right angle and distance for the drum shaft. Ooh, I think that's gonna look pretty good. I do need to get some new uh, front lug nuts. So those definitely are not it, but man, that was that. I need to get this thing down at height though. It looks like a dang monster truck right now. So there is the first look with it on all fours. I still think we're, we're definitely plenty high in the back. Oscar can grab our dirty fender and see see uh, how close we are. I bet that's close on ride height. So I'd assume we could maybe go, which I think we're probably close, and then obviously we'll get more weight in the front end and it'll come down some, but that's probably not way far off. I think about one more inch on the shocks. Yeah. It all depends on how much, but we still got hood, ice water tank full, radiator full, so it'll definitely gain, gain some weight. After turning on the Vikings for a while, I think we're getting there. We're looking pretty good. I did on these front wheels go with a 2.25 offset instead of 1.75. So it actually moves the, the tire in a little bit more than typical too. So 
it is going to tuck it a little bit easier if we get the car super super low we are still higher than a dump truck in the back so but we're getting there back here so we might jump to the back lower that and see what it bring where it brings us to park sitting close to right height lower it down and uh see where we're at we're a little low maybe in the front a little high in the rear but we also don't have much weight in the car so the front might need to come up a little bit and the back might land right about perfect for uh for what we're looking for there is what salty should more or less look like sitting on the ground dang close i think it was looking killer let me know what you guys think in the comments hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one